Hello again, Harlingen. Aaron Kluzabarka here. And I will share something with you. Like Christian Guaraldo, the CEO of Swirly Straw Studios and cartoonist in Texas. Yeah, he was best known for Snack Attacks and Birds of Amuse. Okay. Christian started his animation movie in late 2010s and he creates cartoon animals just like he saw it at San Antonio Zoo. That was going to be birds of amuse. Like I said before, Christian made flamingo named Felix and he lives in the zoo. What do you think? I wonder Christian's movie is going to release because it's just a trailer. And I want his film to have one hour long. But you'll see. I'm a big fan of Birds of Amuse. Maybe my mom will love it. All right, everybody. I hope you've been listening to my voice about Christian Guaraldo, the cartoonist that I shared with you all. And I will tell you next. So me and my dad went to South Texas Comic Con this year at the McAllen Convention Center. Yeah, we came here for the very first time. I know my dad heard my tia Cynthia and her sons went to San Diego Comic Con. We want to go there, but I like South Texas Comic Con in McAllen. In case I can meet the actors with my VIP pass that my dad paid online, I met Marty Grabstein, the voice of Courage, the Cowardly Dog. I talked to him about becoming a voiceover before we pay selfie, me and Marty. I also met David Rigo Jr., the voice of Ferb in Phidias and Ferb. I had a chat with him about my voice impressions. And we didn't get selfies because I'm broke. Well, it was so nice to meet David Rigo Jr. Maybe I can think about him. But you know what? South Texas Comic Con 2024 is coming this spring. I will be there soon. That's right. Social media influencer at Comic Con. Hope to see you there. Actually, you're in Harlingen. Yeah, you've been to McAllen like a road trip. I bet that's 35 minutes away from Harlingen to McAllen. Oh, I will go to South Texas Comic Con until 2024. Okay, for 15 years ago, there was a Hurricane Dolly in this happens in the valley since 2008. Yeah, we remember flooding our hometown, so me and my family had to leave and going to my grandma's place for vacation. Afterwards, the Hurricane Dolly was over. They're cleaning up this place as a community service. I have that strange childhood because of the storm. Everybody, I want to tell you about girls. And they're cute, just like in LA. Well, I haven't go to Los Angeles to see girls. Sort of. I love kissing. It's the best. 
Yeah, I knew I had a girlfriend from middle school. Her name is Jalisa Barron. We've been friends for 10 years ago. We hang out at school. Jalisa didn't kiss me. She hugged me. That I love her so much. Maybe the girls could be my fans because I'm the internet sensation. They'll love me. Here's two more to tell you all when I finished. Say, I got some questions for you. Okay, I wrote Dreams of Mermaid story and movie script. My dad published this book back in 2019. That's right. I'm the author writer like Dr. Seuss. Now Dreams of Mermaid is available on Amazon for $10. You should search for Dreams of Mermaid Volume 1 if you can find it. People, my dad sent a copy of Dreams of Mermaid Volume 1 to Ellen DeGeneres, the TV host. You watch her shows before it was final. Oh, for your information, I wasn't going to be on the Ellen DeGeneres show. She wanted to respond my book, but it won't. This is crazy. Wait, hold on. Dreams of Mermaid will make a wonderful cartoon film just like Don Bluth's favorites that he's been making movies as an animator. How about the animators create Dreams of Mermaid based on my book for me in Hollywood that I'm going to like this movie. So, Dreams of Mermaid Volume 1 is on Amazon. I won't give up to sell my books to all of them. And it feels like a million copies. One more story to tell you. Yeah, I did not mention that for the radio to create. This reminds me of news. Okay. Here's, I'm going to share Matthew Perry from Friends TV sitcom. It was so sad that Matthew Perry had passed away. He was 54 years old. Matthew also played Michael Dono in Zac Efron's movie 17 Again. Fans will always remember a talent star. And never forgotten. Well, Harlingen, I hope you have been listening to my radio story. And I'll see you next time.